This start stop button right here, which looks like a start of a computer, which is so cool, guys. The engine literally screamed. Oh my goodness! And then like this? Or like this? It's so easy. It's something I got used to. I think this Honda CRV is great value for money! Hello everyone! So, for a long time, I was always a big fan of the Honda CRV. I always heard of it. I always saw them driving on other roads here in Belgium. I saw them everywhere. There was a time they used to be very popular, guys. But then also, there are other competitors, which are Japanese, like the Toyota RAV4 and the Nissan X-Trail. Out of the three Japanese crossover SUVs, the Toyota RAV4, the Nissan X-Trail, and the Honda CRV, the Honda CRV was always is my most favorite uh, crossover SUV because of the design and also the unquestionable reliability and the reputation it had. It was always like Toyota, but more interesting, more, uh, well, you see, the thing is Honda had a reputation for building cars that were more sporty. This Honda CRV costs 40,000 euros. Is this good value for money or not? We're gonna find out in a moment, everyone. Let's get down with this review and test drive right now. I'm gonna get down to test driving this Honda CRV. So before you start the car, you put your feet on the uh, brake pedal and you press the start stop button right here. Oh my goodness, I like how it looks like a computer. In order to start this Honda CRV, basically you push this start stop button right here, which looks like a start of a computer, which is so cool, guys. So basically there's no engine noise, but as you go on, that's when the engine noise kicks in. Everything is at my uh, reach. I like the feel of the steering wheel already. I have not even moved the car and yet I'm so impressed with how nice the steering wheel is. Uh, you do get heated seats, but you do not get heated steering wheel, but you do get heated windows at least and heated side view mirrors. Oh! Hmm. Okay, I was just noticing something interesting. So whenever I let go of the brake pedal, the car moves itself automatically. All right, guys. Now I'm going to do a heavy acceleration and uh, let's see how this goes. Three, two, one. Okay, so the acceleration was very, very good. But the only thing I have to remark is that the engine literally screamed. It literally screamed. Um, wait, let me just try something once again. So I'm at a speed of... So I'm just driving a little bit slow. And now let's say I have to accelerate once more. Okay, the thing is, the car acts appropriately. It, it, the, when it comes to the mechanism, the gears, the, the gear selection, it does it at an appropriate moment, but at the cost of the engine screaming. The engine screams, guys. It's um, now whether this is questionable or not. It's it 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 has a. It's very debatable, guys, because this is not a car which is meant to be driven fast. Whenever you accelerate, you have to do a gentle acceleration, like I'm about to do now. So slowly, progressively. But see, even when I'm doing a gentle acceleration, I hear the engine screaming again. See. Like, I, I didn't even floor the car this time. We're gonna do a sharp break. We're gonna see what this high Honda CRV is like for a sharp break. Okay, the sharp break was good, but I have to say that uh, the car has. The, the car reacted on time when it came to the sharp brakes, which is good. I'm impressed with how the car performed with the sharp brakes. Um, I'm just, uh, and the brake was gentle. It was not an emergency brake. So let me just see something. Move. So even when you push the brake pedal or whenever you brush the brake pedal, the car behaves in an appropriate manner. This is something I really like guys, because I know some cars where just when you brush the brake pedal, you do an emergency brake. Whereas in this Honda CRV, the brake was very good. But uh, when it comes to the acceleration, I'm under the impression the engine screams because of the weight of this Honda CRV. Okay, all right, time to execute a U-turn, guys. One, two, three. Oh my 
my goodness! Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm very impressed with how this Honda CRV did the U-turn. Driving this Honda CRV is so good. It is very, very good. Um, it is very nice. Just, I have to say, the handling was very good. And also, it just felt like a good cruiser on the road. Overall impression, the car acts on time. The driving was good. Acceleration was decent. Um, and uh, that too, you do get reliability on your side. So no matter what weather, what terrain, you'll be perfectly fine. But if you want me to be honest about uh, any questionable aspects, the only questionable aspect I would just like to remark about the drive um, first of all, the suspension setting is very, very good before I get to the question aspect. The suspension setting was good and it was uh, on the soft sides, which is a common aspect for a crossover SUV of this segment. It's a common practice. I do not question that for a second. Just the only thing is you have to be careful when driving on corners. Um, but the questionable aspect I like to remark is when accelerating, no matter how gently you push the accelerator, no matter how prudent you are the engine screams let's just test the horn of this honda crv okay so the horn of this honda crv is very interesting guys the it's it's quite um it kind of reminds me of a lot of other japanese vehicles in fact my nissan navara has a similar horn like this i don't know what is it with japanese cars it, it, even the honda jazz had a similar horn like this but they always have this tone of horn like, listen carefully. Yeah, see? that That's the tone of horn uh, these cars have. And uh, I do not know why, but hey, it creates its own unique identity. And at least many people from a distance can, when they hear it, they'll identify that, yes, this sounds like a Japanese crossover SUV or a Japanese car. If you go on home, you get to see all your applications. This infotainment system is very nice. Um, it's quite basic, but it does its job. So let's see. So this is the map uh, and everything. Now, the map is also on the basic side. It's not so fancy. It's not the most detailed, but it does its job as it should. It's very practical. And uh, so there we go. Uh, see, you can just uh, look around like this and uh, you get your navigation. Uh, very nice, very nice, uh, very good. And you, if you go on telephone, you get to see your contacts. Then go on home, you get to go back to applications. Um, oh, see, that's the thing. Now I noticed something a little bit questionable. So whenever I press on this, there's always some nanoseconds of delay. There's always uh, like perhaps maximum one second of delay whenever I press on the uh, button. As you can see, guys, this whole thing over here is the infotainment system. But then you get this whole thing over here, which uh, I, in my view, it can act like a trim. It can sort of act like a trim, but uh, I just wonder, like, what is the purpose of having this uh, piano black uh, portion right here? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it has no purpose whatsoever. It would have been more interesting if the screen of the infotainment system was a bit bigger. You know, it would have fit this whole thing. Uh, that would have been more interesting, but it's not that much of a questionable aspect. I just really like how light the steering wheel is, guys. I mean, look at this. It's so light. I really, really like it. Over here is the interior of the Honda CRV, guys. Looks very, very nice. I actually love the interior of the Honda CRV. In fact, I did a review of the Honda CRV, but I didn't test drive it before. Uh, so it's, it's very nice. I really like it. I really like how this uh, armrest is a bit closer to you, and uh, so therefore, it's, and it's also wide. This armrest is rather wide, so you can just lay your arm here. All four windows are fully automated. Now, over here is the transmission of the Honda CRV. Now it's in park, but uh, it, it uses buttons. But to do the reverse, you have to press the brake and you have to pull it like this. See? And then neutral. And then drive. Neutral. Park. So, you know, it's very easy to control. So how I would use this transmission is not like this, but I just like usually, what I when I was driving, when uh, parking, whenever I park with this Honda CRV, I always have my hands in this position. And then I easily control the controls like this to reverse, to drive, to reverse, and then whenever I want to park, easy. Everything at your reach. This transmission is actually easier than you think. Like you see this elevation right here? Use this as a place where you can lay your hand down and then use this area for your thumb and then like this 
or like this. It's so easy. It's something I got used to very quickly. Like, over here, you do get heated seats, everyone. And like this whole section over here is your climate control. So it's already very good. I like it. Super organized. So over here, you can put your phone like I just did. I kept my phone down there. And uh, over here is the key of the Honda CRV. Now, the key of the Honda CRV is rather basic to be one of the most complex and most interesting storage system I've ever seen. Do you see this beautiful piece of storage right here, right? You think it's probably too short. Well, rest assured you're wrong. It's deeper than you think. There's even extra storage deep underneath. It's, it's so deep and you even get a power outlet, 12 volt socket down there. Very nice. And you get your USB points over there, by the way, just so you know. Um, very good. And you do get some extra storage right here, guys. Oh, oh no, this is just a continuation of uh, this whole thing moving back. It's quite nice. Very good. And you can move this forward to cocoon you uh, when driving. So this is like a... It's very cocooning. It is very nice. I like it. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly like an American car. Because, see, Honda basically grew in the North American market. They kind of expanded there. So that's why I was like, you know, when I saw this interior of the Honda CRV, it's a bit like a minivan. But at the same time, it's so like, you know, it has this North American vibe about it. And yet it's got Japanese technology in it. Like, you know, the Japanese reliability and everything. What's amazing is that you do get this bit of leather right here, guys. It's so good. But whilst I was driving this Honda CRV, I basically made no use of it because my leg was always in this position. So it never really reached uh, the leather over there. And that's nothing questionable. But I know some people who would need to use it when leaning to their when leaning their leg over here most of the journey. So it makes a lot of sense. Before I go, I would just like to quickly admire the steering wheel guys it's so nice so good i really like the leather wrap around it very soft very good it's like a and it's it's quite nice it's like not so fancy so it's you know it equally means it's very durable you get your fuel cap uh, lever right there and your bonnet lever right there guys and it's it's hard to reach with my feet so i have to do it manually like this which is very good guys this is what i'm talking about because many people might accidentally pull it with their feet if it's so accessible by feet so Yep. The only questionable aspect I'd like to remark is that the, the adjustment for the steering wheel is all the way down there. Like usually most brands would make it accessible, like maybe put a little thing right here, an electric adjustment, or maybe put it right here. Oh yes, everyone. This is how the exterior of the Honda CRV looks. I really like the design. I really do. It looks very nice. It looks very nice. I was always a big fan of the Honda CRV for this reason. Like, look at this uh, area over here. Now, over here, it looks like they played it evolutionary with the design. And then the wheels also look nice. Uh, very good. Very good. See, and, and now because it's been a... Now we are winter. And as you can see, there's a bit of mud splashes onto the car. But, and there, and it is here, you see the advantage of the hard plastic. Look how it does its job very nicely. This is the rear seat of the Honda CRV, guys. It looks very spacious. And as I've said before, guys, this Honda CRV is basically a minivan. Because if you look at it, it's so flat in the middle. It's so flat down there. There's no uh, emission tunnel or a propeller shaft tunnel. So therefore, there's plenty of leg room. All right, guys. So I finished test driving this Honda CRV, and I have to say one word: impressive. I was very impressed with the way it drove especially when it comes to city friendliness, this car is a champion. Many people have been saying that SUVs, 4x4s and crossovers are one of the biggest polluters in the city. That they are so big, they take up all the parking spaces. Here's something I have to tell you all. First of all, this Honda CRV proves that point wrong. It destroyed the perception people had of SUVs and crossover SUVs because this car is one of the most city-friendly car you can buy currently on market. And this car is super easy to drive, very maneuverable, very easy to park. And also, when it comes to acceleration, it, it accelerates in an appropriate pace and at slow speed, it doesn't consume much oil. So, when it comes to eco-friendliness, this car is for you. So here's my conclusion of the Honda CR-V. My conclusion of the Honda CR-V is that it's a great crossover SUV, super spacious in the interior. In fact, I think it's like an MPV or a minivan. If you're in the USA, you know this as a minivan. Uh, it's like a minivan or MPV in the interior. 
but it's got the body of a crossover SUV. I think that's what set the Honda CRV apart from the other Japanese crossover SUVs, like the Honda, no, no like the Toyota RAV4 and the Nissan X Trail. Just when you're on the highway, accelerate at an appropriate pace. Try to avoid hearing the engine scream too much. You can't let the engine scream because it's a Honda, guys. The Honda, you can, you can abuse the Honda all you like and this car is gonna last a long time. But, hey, maybe it's better to be more <clears throat> friendly with the car. So for a price of 40,000 euros, is this Honda CRV good value for money or not? You know what guys? For a price of 40,000 euros, it's not very often you see manufacturers give such a nice crossover SUV that is hybrid, that is super reliable, and that is well equipped. Because this car has just enough equipment that you need in order to make it desirable and easy to live with. So you know what I think? I think this Honda CRV is great value for money! That's right, you heard me guys. This Honda CRV is great value for money and it's one of the best. It's not the best, but it's one of the best. I'm gonna confess something to you all. I was biased. I was biased. I was biased because I'm not a acceleration fanboy. I'm not a speed fanboy. I was never a big fan of speed. I was always a big fan of cruising, of comfort, of just sitting in a car, driving on the highway and just enjoying the world pass by whilst I just enjoy the present. This is the kind of driving pleasure I like. This for me is driving pleasure, maneuverability, practicality, ease to live with. You want my opinion of this Honda CRV? I love this Honda CRV, guys. It's one of the best crossover SUVs in today's market that is not so expensive, not so big. It's very city friendly, and also it should be very economic to live with. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos that are on the run. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am gonna go cruising and city cruising with this Honda CR-V. But just because he doesn't have the bling doesn't mean he doesn't have anything. He has the reliability and the durability, whereas all your cars could have is just the ability to look bling. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know, I'm just trying to wrap over here, guys, but hey, this is the reason why you should get this Honda CR-V, guys. Who, who said you need to have a fancy car when you can get this car?